All right, let me get this camera from stop shaking it here. It's going to be very hard. All right, what I have here is a Mossberg model number 402A Palomino. Let's see if I could bring it up here so you could see it. There we go, model 402A Palomino. Mossberg and Sons Inc. Get that a little bit focused in. Sorry about the shaking camera. It's a uh, ACKRO GRUV 22 short, long, and long rifle. Focus that a little bit better so you can see it. And again, it's the model 402A. Now, a lot of you out there that know this rifle, it's extremely rare. It is lever action. Um, so let me uh, open it up here so you can see it. Damn, this camera. There you go. So it's a very simple lever action. It is empty. Nothing in the chamber and nothing in the tube magazine. It was checked before, prior before making this video. Um, very nice. One thing about this, this is a nice feature is that you can take off the side plate on the receiver. So there's one screw here. As you can see, you just unloosen that screw and this pops up and then you can clean it inside there real easily. Which is a nice feature on this. I don't like the way you know it's cut out here of course because see it 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 just makes the receiver kind of like there's something wrong with it but you know, it's not a solid piece of piece of steel or aluminum. Um, so, but it's nice, nice feature. You can put a scope on this. Somebody in the past did put a scope on it because you could see the little rub marks. But other than that, this thing is pristine. I mean, look at the lever. The lever looks like it's brand new. The trigger is plated gold, but not real gold. It's just probably painted or something. Um, and there is some wear on the trigger just slightly. This does have a serial number and I'll explain why. Okay. Has your iron sights for your rear, your elevation. Sorry, it's a little hard here doing this. And then your simple um, front sight, which is really nice. This, this rifle is very, very accurate. And as you can see, look how pristine this is. See the bluing on this? very minor marks on this rifle okay now the age of this with the serial number is I estimate it to be about 1968 to 1970 maybe 1971 somewhere in between I think I think it's more like 1970 and 71 I don't think it's in the 60s so it does have walnut stock checkering which is nice, still in excellent shape. Walnut forearm, nice checkering as you can see. Has the uh, sling swivels, one inch, one on your forearm and one on your bottom of your stock here. So it'd be nice to get a nice leather sling uh, on the period of like the early 70s, late 60s, early 70s leather sling. Your cap, which is nice. And there's your butt plate, oh, sorry right there so which is nice about these older firearms it has this nice white trim see this white trim along here at the uh, end cap in the stock which gives it a little pizzazz I guess if you want to call it um, even on the end cap so you could tell pretty much if you find something like this you could tell this is like early to mid 60s to early 70s I guess around 70s or so they started you know doing a lot of this even towards the mid and late 1960s so but it's nice now the difference these were made I think around 1960 I believe somewhere around there give or take uh, and they came out with the model uh, 4 402 or no I think it was a 400 then the 402 in the mid to uh, 1965 or so and the difference between the model 4 02 regular and then this model the 402a as an apple is has a wider forearm 
you can see how kind of wide this forearm is. The Model 402 plane just had a thinner forearm and pretty much everything else was the same. You know, and maybe the 402A I think could have maybe had a gold trigger here uh, with which I do is the 402A and, and I don't think the 402 did not have the gold trigger. So maybe that was the only differences I believe. There's not a whole lot of information on this rifle but it's it's nice. I mean, I'm not going to say it's 100% uh, like a browning, you know. It's not a, definitely not a browning. So, but if you keep it clean, take care of it, you know, it'll last you. I mean, it's built a lot better than a lot of these other 22s. You just unscrew the tubular magazine, you bring it out. It's a nice brass. I mean, you can see, look at the spring on this thing, you know. And then you fill your 22s right here and you, you know, Put them one at a time in there, whether it's your shorts, long or long rifle. And then as soon as you put, I think, I think it holds around 17 shorts, I believe, and maybe 14 long rifles, somewhere around there. And then just push that in after you fill it up, turn it to lock it, and you're ready to go. And then just pull that back, chamber your first round, and then you, of course, you have your safety right here fire and safe just a little lever see sticks out kind of protrudes out a little bit you know which you should have a little round thumb safety type instead of like a leather or a lever but but it's in nice shape and it's extremely rare you don't see the 402 A's so if you're looking for this two particular model which they really don't come up that often at all um, and I stress that because these things are really rare but if you do come up with one like say there's one online or something um, let me get this thing a little bit better there it would only say 402 and this is the 402A Palomino some of them just had regular model 402's um, and then not the Palomino um, there were some that were, that came out that were made by, uh, Western Field, I believe. Western Field took over on some of these models. It was like a hardware company, you know, Western Field Auto or something. And they stamped their name on it. But this, this one is the original Mossberg, as you could see. Uh, but the Western Fields were pretty much the same thing. But a lot lower cost, you know. Because they didn't have the Mossberg stamp on it. So there you go. Let me see if you can see it here. Nice, nice little lever action 22. I have quite a few 22s and I uh, love them. Just like my old shotguns, you know. So if you ever come across like any particular 22s, let me give you a little light, more light here. Huh? There you go. Oops, I keep going it out. All right. So if you ever come across something like this, kind of reasonable, uh, pick it up. If these are, if this is like two hundred dollars or less, definitely pick it up because these go for about four or five hundred dollars now. Uh, maybe the four hundred two A might go even just a little more, maybe five and a quarter or five fifty. Uh, if I had the box, I'm sure seven eight hundred bucks. You know, it's it's weird, but again, it's what people collect. But the average price is anywhere from three to four hundred for a good used model for uh, the four hundred or four hundred two. I mean, and then. For about three or four hundred, but it has a lot of wear and scratches on the wood and etc. So there you go, Mossberg 402A Palomino. This one's extremely rare, and I hope you enjoyed it. And again, in like all my videos, I'm hoping to one day start making some videos uh, so that you could see me shooting some of these firearms. Uh, I have good days and bad days, but. Hopefully I could get out in an hour or two, you know, during the day and somebody film me and I could show you. I still have it. I still am a pretty damn good shooter, so. Alright, hope you enjoyed it. Maybe next video on this particular uh, 22, I'll put a, a leather sling. I'll try to find a leather sling for it. A nice, you know, vintage one that will go with the same year as this. And I'll show you what that looks like. It'll look pretty cool. And maybe even put a, 
a nice jet Japan scope on it, like 1969, 1970 Japan scope. Uh, just a small 22 one, you know. There you go. Have fun. Stay safe.